So, seeing as it's right here, let's see what's actually up here. Uh, an item. Ooh, a razor fang. Alright, a razor fang. What does uh, one of those do? An item to be held by a Pokemon. It may cause the foe to flinch when the holder inflicts damage. Ooh, okay. Interesting. But, never mind. Interesting. What about what kind of Pokemon appear around here? Let's see if any new Pokemon appear around here. Oh, Fero. There's a new Pokemon. Level 50. Okay. I'm just going to run away for now and probably just switch Pokemon. But interesting. Fero. So well, let's just bring Golduck up front for a, for a little bit and uh, see what other Pokemon appear around here. So we got Fero. Uh, any other new Pokemon? Well, I'm going to guess there is. Don't be shy, Pokemon. For once, I actually want to uh, encounter you lot. Okay, now we got to eradicate. Right. So a whole bunch of original Kanto Pokemon appearing right now. So you know what? We might as well have a quick battle with Golduck. But thinking about it, waterfalls might be a bit... Oh, I don't know, actually. No, I was going to say it might be a bit too much. Ooh, double edge. Oh, that will lower its health. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? We're going to try and catch you. You've actually weakened yourself pretty well. So let's just use an Ultra Ball. Yo, there we go. New Pokemon. And our first Pokemon... Um with the national decks now, so let's read Radicate's data. Radicate, the mouse Pokemon. It whittles its constantly growing fangs by gnawing on hard things. It can chew apart cinder walls. Dang. <laughs> so just out of curiosity, what number are you, Radicate? Well, obviously we're in national dex mode, so uh, you're number 20, of course. Actually, switch Pokedex. Okay, so you can have five of just the Sinnoh decks, or the National decks, so, yeah, there we go. Right, let's, uh, ooh, hello, ah, looks like a Disney cut after all. Right, looks like a double battle is up for grabs. Hmm, actually, I'll tell you what, no, I'll tell you what, instead of Tortara, I'm going to uh, train up Garchomp a little bit. Oi, turn around. Let's have a double battle. Yeah. In the embrace of Mother Nature, people and Pokemon grow strong. And I let my bird Pokemon carry me to wherever. And so here I am. Oh, bird Pokemon. Oh dear. Um, you're not going to like one of the Pokemon I'm going to be bringing out. So we have a Pokemon Ranger and a Bird Keeper. Yo, some more new Pokemon. So, Taylor and Linoon. Oh, I can't wait to see the Gal uh, the Galara uh, Linoon and its evolved form. <laughs> right, uh, God Shop. Uh, just use Dragon Claw and you spark. Well, I think about it, it is only a Taylor, so probably a bit over the top, but never mind. Might have stood a slight better chance if you decided to evolve your Taylor into a Swellow, but then again, nah, probably not. Ooh, Arbok, okay. Interesting, and Farfetch'd. Alright. Again, <laughs> Farfetch'd. I'll wait to see your evolved form. Uh, in uh, Sword and Shield. Right, uh, Dig, Arbok, and, you know, I'll just use Shockwave on Farfetch'd. Because that should be more than enough. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> sure enough, didn't stand a chance. Ah, that's more like it, a Pidgeot. Ah. Right, well, Godchamp's still underground, so I'll tell you what, you spark on Pidgeot. While I well and truly surprised the Arbok. Yeah, there we go. Sweet, level 61. And to finish it off. Except it didn't finish it off. Well, wow. although admittedly, I just realised obviously we had. Uh, we did get uh, intimidated, didn't we? So that probably didn't help, but that's okay. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult at all. <laughs> yeah, probably not the best place to touch down in a new place. I was born in the Hoenn region. I've only just recently flown here. Maybe you should have, maybe you should have rested up a bit before you decided to battle me. It doesn't matter where they grow, Pokemon can be made tougher anywhere if you set your mind to it. Indeed they can. Anyway, let's just cut down this tree, thanks to my convenient uh, HM slave, and let's see what this item is. Uh, it's just a rare candy. I've still got a ton of them, which I didn't bother to use. Also, I see some suspicious empty uh, squares on the top path there, so I suspect there's going to be a few hidden items up there. So we'll definitely check that out once we find a path up there. Anyway, we've got ourselves a Psychic, a Slowpoke. Hmm. Not the worst thing in the world, but I'm just going to switch Pokemon anyway. Also, I just realised, I think I... I only just realised this now. I completely forgot about it in the previous session, although... Uh, I didn't do much in the previous session, I didn't do any battle, I just realised I don't think I changed my battle settings, have I? Because I changed it when I um, challenged the Elite Four. Uh, no I didn't. Um, I've still got the battle style on as set rather than shift, but... Hey, you know what? I'll leave it, I'll leave it like this for now. I'll leave it on like this. Why not? Let's have a bit more of a challenge for once. Wish to withstand that one, eh, slow bro? Probably won't withstand a shockwave though, but hey, I might get proven wrong. Ah, and there we go. No trouble at all. I will reluctantly hand over the prize money to me. Well, thank you. Right now, let's switch back to Torterra. Although, I suppose I could train up Lucario a little bit as well. What will you do after this? <laughs> Why don't you decide for yourself? It would be much fun that way. Yes, and although, thinking about it, you're probably just worried that you might get your prediction wrong. Ooh, there's going to be something up there, but let's go this way. Or is this just simply a faster way around? It's just a faster way around, but that's okay. Alright, might as well see what kind of Pokemon we have here. So, ooh, a Machoke now. Alright. So we're seeing, so far in the wild, a Fero, a Eradicate, and a Machoke. Probably worth getting the item finder out, thinking about it. Okay, just another Fero. So I'm not really encountering any Pokemon that I would probably have in my squad. Uh, no, there's no item here. Alright. 
I've gone the wrong bloody way again, haven't I? Yes, I have. So there's no hidden item. What about here? Yes, there is. But first, we're going to poke while the poke while guarding this precious item. Oh, it's another Fero. <laughs> Just another Fero. Yeah, let's just run away for now and see what this is. Yeah, it's just a big mushroom. Must have quite a few of them now. Uh, no, no item there. What about here? No item here. One very visible item there. Nothing here apart from a Pokemon trader. Uh, oh, might be a Pokemon Rager, think about it. We go on patrol to make sure there's nothing strange going on. And occasionally, we battle. Well, gotta find something to uh, pass the time if there's nothing going on, being a Pokemon Ranger. Okay, we have ourselves a Skarmory. Not really ideal at all for Torterra, thinking about it. Uh, looks like looks Ray, it's up to you, I think. Oh dear, yeah, air slash. You were assuming I was going to stick with, um... Torterra, weren't you? Yeah, sorry for pulling uh, the old switcheroo uh, there, but... You know, that's the way it goes. Ooh, didn't knock it out, but it is paralyzed, so that's good. Night slash. Ooh, critical hit. Oof, what a jerk. Right, there you go, have a little shockwave. Should take care of you. There we go. Ooh, Donphan. Right, okay, well, this is definitely not ideal for Luke's Ray, so I think... Yeah, let's switch back to Torterra, why not? And I saved uh, Lug's Ray as well. Ooh, that could have been bad. That could have been bad. So you know what? Have a wood hammer. Also, first time we've seen Dom fan. And Golduck, oh dear, yeah. Uh, not good for you, have another wood hammer. <laughs> have another wood hammer. Did quite a bit of uh, recall damage there, but that's okay. There we go, Torterra is now level 64, sweet. And there we go, defeated Dwayne. Well, there we go, that will help help you pass the time, I hope. That's useful. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just quickly do a... Uh, just a tiny bit of healing, nothing major. I've got 13 rare candies. I think I have more than enough of them. Anyway, let's just use a potion on you. And I'm not going to use a potion on Luxray just yet. Let's just have a little wander around here. Ah, here we go. One revive, always nice to have. Uh, up here. Although it feels like we've missed the entire area. Somehow. There is something missing in the way I battle. I've come here to find it. Alright then, let's, uh, let's see what's what. Ah, Ace Trainer. Ro Ro Rodolfo? Also Starmie, oh dear. Yeah, not gonna go well for you, is it? Um, have a Leaf Storm. Okay, admittedly you're faster than me, but... It's a bit of uh, desperate times here. Again with the critical hit! Also, I've missed, that's awesome. Right, just use a Wood Hammer. I'm being hit by a lot of critical hits right now. Also, I'm a bit worried my wood hammer's actually going to knock out my Torterra. I think it will, actually. Ah, yeah, it probably will, won't it? Oops. 
Well, um, yeah, that happened, so here you go, looks right, have all the experience points. Hmm, okay. Uh, you know what, Lucario, might as well uh, bring you out for a little bit. Ooh, Vibrava. Uh, I can't remember if you're actually part... No, I think you're only part Dragon type when you evolve, don't you? Do you know what? I can't remember. I'll tell you what, let's just use Aura Spear for now. I can't remember if I... I think, it's, I think my brother's only ground type. I don't think it's part Dragon type until it, it evolves. Can't remember. Hmm. Oh, good for you. Anyway, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna very quickly head back to the survival area, just quickly heal up my Pokemon. And of course, I get encountered by a wild Pokemon. Oh, Graveler. Yeah. Um, you're not that uh, unique, sorry to say, Graveler. Because, well, we've already encountered you before, so you know what? I don't care about you. Go away. <laughs> Tell you what, this will be a good opportunity just to put on a repel. Once I can find it, there we go. I'll just use a max repel, it's fine. So I'll quickly go back and heal my Pokemon, and then we'll come back. Although, actually, before I head back, just very quickly jumping back, I knew I forgot a little area up here. So up here was just a uh, HP up. Huh, fair enough. So I somehow decided to ignore this bit, but there we go, it's all fixed now. Anyway, back to the Pokeball Centre and then back here. <laughs> Repel's effects wore off right at the front door. Ain't that convenient. <laughs> anyway, let's just heal my Pokemon. Okay, we're back pretty much to where we were before and we've got a random house here. Alright, let's see who lives here. Hello. Isn't it hot in the battle zone? Why not let your Pokemon drink this? Uh, fresh water? Oh, thank you very much. So there we go, just uh, random fresh water. Not the most useful healing, healing item, but we'll uh, take it anyway. Anyway, let's see what this item is. Anything good? Uh, a lax incense. Okay, another one of those incense items. And I see someone down there, but a big pool of water. This definitely requires a bit of uh, exploring, and sure enough, ah, there's my repel. I have. I put one on, and a dubious disc. Okay, well, let's have a quick look at those items. So we got. Um, uh, the tricky aroma of this incense lowers the foe's accuracy. Sounds good, although, what if I pick up a dubious disc? That sound is that a key item? No, it's not. Where the hell is that dubious disc gone? Or do I already have one? It's not on the bottom. Where the, where's the dubious disc? Oh, there it is! So, apparently I have two dubious discs now. I don't even know where I got this, that first one from. Hmm. Well, whatever. We have two dubious discs for some reason. <laughs> oh, actually, I just realised something. I could actually try out my new Super Rod. Yo, I was going about to say, oh, that's disappointing. No Pokemon, but no, nope, we've got one. Ooh, we have a Wish Cash. Ah. Okay, we got ourselves a wish cash living in this water. Well, that's a thought. Let's see if I can actually get this to work this time. Ah, right. Uh, so we, so it worked there. Well, I don't remember this tile actually uh, lighting up then. How about that? My Joe, I wasn't really paying attention. So it does work, but obviously it didn't work on that tall grass when I was trying to use it. Uh, whilst chasing after Mesprit last time. Uh, probably something I'm not going to use that often, thinking about it. The, um... The Poké Radar. Anyway, a pincer. Hmm. Let's see. Who 
should I switch for? You know what, Goldock, might as well give you a little bit of a battle again. Seeing as you are uh, definitely one of the uh, biggest contributors to uh, my uh, victory in the uh, Pokemon League. Uh, surf, why not? Surf. Yeah, surf, surf, pincer dude. Go. <coughs> oh god. I was trying to hold that sneeze in there, did not work. <laughs> anyway, looks right now level 62. Nice. And lantern, okay. You're probably gonna try and use an electric move on Golduck, so I'm actually gonna bring Rectal Terror out again. Good luck with uh Aww. Let's have a good use an electric move. Boo! Alright, well, fair enough. I'll just use a wood hammer. Yo, a Torterra was not gonna um, get pulled off by the fact that it's confused. It took a bit of time lowering its health. Dang, Lantern, you have quite a bit more health than I've realised. But whatever, we defeated Quinn. I fed my gang protein, carbos, you named it, I pumped them full of it. Yeah, that, that was something I actually forgot to do before I took on the Elite Four, because I was planning on using some of those uh, proteins and carbos and all that stuff. But I forgot to do that in the end, because I've actually got quite a few of each. So yeah, I got like five, six of each by the looks of it, but on the whole. So yeah, I've actually got quite a bit. I really should use them. But unless I'm very much mistaken, I'm pretty sure we get an opportunity to uh, have a rematch against the Elite Four at some point. So I'll do that. Also, I was going to say, cuttable trees, there's got to be a secret. Actually, no, this, this path purely exists just to avoid that small patch of grass, unless there's a hidden item around here. No, this little bit here is literally just to avoid that bit of grass patch, but you still got to go past this bit. Kind of pointless if you ask me, but okay, whatever. Anyway, we've got ourselves a Machoke, not really in the mood to capture you right now, I just want to see, well I kind of want to see if I can get to the next area. Uh, a green shard, is there anything up there by a chance? Uh, looks like we're starting to run out of Pokemon encounters right now. We're pretty much just seeing the exact same Pokemon as we previously have. I won't put on the Rax Repellent just yet. Okay, looks like there's nothing there. I don't know if I could squeeze through up there, but I want to go to the left first. Yeah, we're just seeing the same Pokemon right now, so... So I think what I'll do is I will put on another Repel. Should have bought more than think about it, but that's okay. And just go through right here. Ah, I uh, I saw you sneaking behind the tree. I just wouldn't. I just I, I just wasn't sure which way you were facing, but uh, I knew someone was there. But I could quite tell. Oh dear, a Flaffy. Oh dear. Oh, it's not going to go well for Flaffy. It's really not going to go well for Flaffy. It really isn't going to go well for you. But admittedly, not a huge amount of experience points. Uh, next up, Tropius. Okay. Hmm. Kind of wish I had a Glaceon with me, but you know what? We'll, um... We'll make the most of this for now. We'll just use Crunch and go from there. Dang! Nice. Ooh, hello. Absorb light. Well, I think before you have a chance to use that move. Is it solar beam you're using or is it something else that absorbs light? Was I wondering something like that? 
the previous video, I can't remember now, but eh, whatever. Whatever you were going to do, you weren't going to use it. Ha <laughs> ha. So, what's down here? Okay, another couple bush, but that's only for some uh, berry bushes. Ooh, rock climb. Looks like a long way up as well. Alright. Blimey, what are you doing all the way up here? Just chilling out by yourself? See the potential dragon Pokemon. The championship is within my sights. Ah, okay, so looks like we have a dragon master, don't we? Again, I kind of wish I had... Um... Glaceon with me. I'm trying to remember the Pokemon then, but... I think we should be alright. Might be able to get away with using a wood hammer thinking about it. Yeah, use a wood hammer. Quite a bit of recoil damage, but yeah, that's fine. Ah, less fine. Altaria. Yeah, definitely not gonna keep you in this particular battle, so let's just switch to uh, Luxray. Even though Luxray's electric attacks aren't really gonna be super effective, of course, but. Should be a bit better than. Uh, keeping Torterra out. Dragon Pulse, okay. I was half expecting a flying type move, but that's okay. Uh, just use Spark for now. Hmm, okay. Did just about half damage there. Possibly one more Spark, but if not, I might have to use a Shockwave, but that's okay. Oh, just about managed to survive that. But you are kind of paralysed as well, so not going to go well. Yes, you could increase your speed if you want, but again, with you being paralysed, that's not really going to help you, is it, Altaria? Just a shame it wasn't a wild Altaria, because... Uh, the way I managed to get its health down the fact that it was paralyzed, it was perfect for capturing, but of course, it wasn't a wild Altaria. Anyway, let's see what item you're guarding. Uh, a Dawnstone. Oh, okay, fair enough. So we have ourselves a Dawnstone, and now I'm just going to leave you all alone on this uh, random bit of um, mountain. Ooh, we're near the survival area. Nice. Although, I don't think it's pretty... I don't think it's that big, this area, is it? Uh, survival area, staging point. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too big, this area, but I think this is a good opportunity for me to call it quits with today's recording session. Just another short one. And I think what we'll do next time, we'll have a little wander around, just talk to the people around here, see if they've got anything uh, interesting to say and reveal about this area. And then probably carry on clockwise around this little island, maybe even if we can get to it. Stopping off at uh, Stark Mountain, because I'm pretty sure a few things go on there. And I definitely would like to uh, see what's going on, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens next time. But for now, thanks very much for watching everyone, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be back very soon with some more Pokemon Platinum. So until then, I shall catch you all later.